Dead mouse. There might be coffee. So, um, finishing up my little, like, raid of a bunch of IMs today with something that hopefully, I was just hoping, I just needed something normal. Because the last ones I did were the, the, the Inuwasha purple and the, uh, the other one that required, like, the DSP wire, and it really just pissed me off. So, I pulled the Kiwi... I pulled the Kiwi Ears Quartet Hybrid IM off the shelf. Let's say what it actually has. Hold on. It's got a high, mid, plus mid, plus 2DD. So it's got quite a lot of things going on inside of it. So 2BAs, 2DDs, 32 ohms, blah, 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 blah. I don't know what it costs yet. I'm going to do a non-cost thing. And also, since the last review I did was the purple, I had to find another wallpaper that had purple in it. So that one's good. Also, that one looks like a lot of fun. And it's small. And it's light. And oh, look at them. Look at that. Like, that's that's cool looking. Oh, fuck. Are those switches? They are. So I just wanted a relaxing, like, listen to IMs and review at time. But no, I had to pull out my little dip switch switcher because it didn't come with one. I looked through all the stuff that came with the Kiwi Ears Quartet. And it did not come with the little tool you need to switch the little switches. Keep in mind that there are current IMs that you could actually flip the switches with your fingers while they're in your ears. They're just still not installing them in these, which is dumb. Um, they showed up with two switches up. <sighs> More coffee. Anyway, they showed up with both switches up. And then I sent the first switch down, then the second switch down. So both down. Then I put the first switch back up. And I'm like, ooh, that's the most base. No, none of this paperwork, by the way, explains what the switches do. Um, love the purple. They're quite large. I guess having two DDs in it. They are a two-pin wire if you wanted to swap it out. The wire is fine. Um, I'm going to guess the price of this at between $65 and $120. That's what I'm guessing the quintet, the quartet is. What are, you th what are your thoughts? We got the wire is okay. It's a four-wire twist, black, nice and smooth, into the two. Like, I have nothing negative to say about this, mostly because it reminds me a hell of a lot of my Soft Ears Twilight wire. Oh, that's a weave, but also just like black vinyl. Vinyl. They're a good shape. They're a good size. I put the DD, uh, two new SS tips on there. It is a 3.5, so I'm using an adapter. It doesn't come in a lot of accessories. It comes in a bunch of different types of tips. Still no foam, though. I feel like the foam are not being cared for enough. In fact, I'm going to swap this to... What was that? Small? Right, there we go. Let's put the render tips on here. Because now that I've got it on the basiest setting, setting this on the render tips will be like, hey... Heard you like when your membranes shatter. So there you go. Let's let's put them in my ears. Hit play again. And we'll look at the price. Uh, is it going to be $79.99? Is it going to be $119? Or is it going to be less? Or is it going to be much more? And then I'm like, fuck. It can't be more. It, it can't be more. 109 Boom. Called it. I actually hit load on the page and minimized it. Linsold's got it for 109 or for some reason, 118 also on Linsoul. Or for some reason, 120.99 also on Linsoul. And then we get the orchestra lights. And the... Okay. You know what? 110? Absolutely fucking agree. I like him. I like him for 110. I would have loved him for 89.99, but I like him for 110. So, honestly, not that much of a base murder improvement going to the render tips. They were doing pretty good on the Duno SSs. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And Dead Mouse is a great way to test that. Yeah, these are just a smooth, nice, adult. Like, flipping the switches, there was one orientation where both switches were... The first switch down was one down. It was like I didn't like it as much. Both switches down was like, okay, that's not bad. I could live with that. Then that first switch back up brought the base back up. And I left the second switch down. So this is probably like a skewed, less treble... More bass is the other way I'm figuring out those switches kind of work. Yeah, I fucking jam to them, man. I am jamming to these Kiwi ears. Uh, by the way, if you ever want to look up a video of mine and you use Telegram, which you should all use anyway, you literally just type in at vid, like at pick or at gif, like at vid works in Telegram. And you type in in dash ear fetish, and then you look, you get every. One of my reviews. This is better at looking up things than it is on the YouTube app. Because I wanted to see exactly how many Kiwi Ears things I've done. 
And it turns out I did the Orchestra Light, the Dolce, the Critical Singulo, which I think just came out yesterday. Um, that isn't mine. That isn't mine. Then we go back to this. And that is it. I haven't done that many Kiwi ears. But you know what? There you go. 120 bucks, 110 bucks, whatever the fuck that range is wildly. They're just an engaging deep. You know what? Actually, I'm going to put the switch up again. Now that I put those tips on it, and it's adding a little bit more to that, I'm going to just jack that back up. Yeah. If you ever, by the way, why do you like blue tack so much, Zeus? Because I just leave it there and just smashed it into it, and it'll be there forever. It'll never fall on the ground. So much easier to find things. You do it with your car keys if you use enough of it. So now, render tips on the quartet with both switches back up, which is its default setting. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. you got a little more sweetness in the in the treble. Perfect. This is great. These are a great fucking I am. I don't have to worry about DSP corrections. I did have to worry about switches, but then I put it back to the default. It's like a heavy. I, the sound of these is heavy. Oh God. Speak of the devil. Mr. Robot asking the impossible. For those of you who have not seen this show, Mr. Robot, fuck is wrong with you, number one. Number two, go. It's just like, I, I need a speakers like over there. I need one of those like permanently wired up so I can just be like, hold on a second, and I just raise the volume so you can hear what I'm listening to. Because this is like, I imagine nightmares have this sort of sound on it where it's like, it's just, it's like the walls are shaking and bringing it in. This is more of a music review than an IM review, which is probably what you want. You should want to know about new music. So go download or legally stream the Mr. Robot soundtrack and find the song Asking the Impossible. The only problem is it's written in lead speak in one word. That's the way the download is, at least for me. So every one of them is like a file extension. So it's it's asking the impossible with the impossible starting with a one. And then it's dot M4P. Like it's a whole thing. Jesus. These are Doom IMs. The game Doom. I've said that before in a couple of IM reviews, and I mean it. This feels like an epic quest is about to begin in my house. And I'm like, oh, what? I don't, my mana potions are out. I can't do whatever you're going to ask me to do in omniscient voice. Please, God, stop. Ooh. Oh. Oh, there's that treble I just added back. This is Evangelion, The Depths of Human Hearts. And it's literally, someone rings like a little bell, like a dinner bell, like... Dee -dee -dee. And then someone hits a piano, like... Dee -dee -dee. It's like uh... Again, shit, that's a fucking strong bell. It doesn't hurt, necessarily. Like, if the treble isn't too high, I could always just flip that switch back down. But it's like, it's clear. It's clear. And being a hybrid, it's... Doing its job. Everything sounds pretty cohesive. The treble is extremely trebly. The bass is extremely bassy. I I kind of want to know if I should put this song into these test songs. It'd be too annoying on a on a sound demo. Yeah, no. These are these are a hundred dollar I am. Hundred and ten? Hundred and nineteen is pushing it. Make it a hundred and ten. Oh, that double, d dual dynamic. This might be the cheapest dual dynamic I could think of, other than, like, the tin. But these are a dual dynamic that's strictly bass and then other things above it. Fuck. I don't think they beat Rinko for low end, but they trying. Especially with the render tips in here. Yeah, these, these these sound like if you took like a normal IM and just wrapped it in bacon fat. That's what the quint the quartets are. They just weigh a fuckload. There's not physically, just like the, the sound has actual weight to it. Boom 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 boom. boom. Techmaster PEB. I think if you listen to extremely bassy music for a long enough period of time, these would bother you. It'd be, it's so much. It's so much bass. It's just skewed to have so much bass. 
Now, Love and Spoonful has no bass and a lot of treble, and I kind of want to put the switch back down. So there's times when I, I like those switches because it means, like, I could tune, like, in this situation. Like, you know, if I'm going to listen to, like, very trebly music, I'm listening to an entire album that's just, like, murderous guitars, I could take it down a little bit. Just take it down a little bit. And then the rest, just leave the bass up all the time because why wouldn't you? What are you, bad? What are you, lame, bad? Yeah. Other than getting more used to listening to them with the switch up and the tips in there, I kind of want to turn the switch back down. But that's fine. It's, it's why the switches exist. That's why nozzles exist. So you could tune it slightly. Not this DSP crap with the wire will literally fucking change the whole shape of the sound. I hate those. These are clear. This is Acoustic Arts Uncompressed. Maria or Mana? No, Maria Markensi, Mark, Markenseni, M-A-R-K-E-S-I-N-I, Markesini, Cosmo with a K. Wow, she's just singing, just singing. Mm -hmm -hmm. Yep, 100%, 100% 9.0 recommendation. 9.0 recommendation. They fit great. The cable's nice. The basic accessories, I don't care. It's fine. They produce the sounds. I'm look. They're a nine. These are a nine point zero. Right? They'd be a ten if they were eighty nine dollars. That'd be even more price of performance. Or if they had something else that was cool that came with them. If they came with my render tips. Then they're ten. But no, they're a nine. They're a solid nine. I'm enjoying that. I'm enjoying them. I'm just fucking thank you, please. I just need to get back to a real I am. You can't see my hands, but they're grabbing my head. I just needed to get back to a real I am. I got to know what the 475 does to them. Because I have a mass Kobo on my desk and I'm not using it. That makes me a bad man. I'm pretty sure that's illegal in many countries. Oh my god. How is it like? How does it do that? How does this do that? How do you do that? I may have to buy one of these. I don't care if it's the smallest and it's designed for you know IMs. It literally like doubles the quality of the sound. I fucking hate that thing. I hate mass gobo stuff. Anyway, yeah, I'm done. Wallpaper and the wallpaper horde. Patreon subscribe to support this channel. If this mouse pit exists, I'll link it. Uh, I can never tell anymore. Sun dash rain dot JPEG. Hmm. It's, it's creative. It's basic and creative. And at least I know it wasn't made by AI because I bought it before the AI revolution. <sighs> the revolution will be televised. Anyway, thank you for supporting this channel. If you're looking for more videos, uh, you can find uh, free posts on Patreon and Subscribestar uh, that link to videos that I've completed here but aren't public yet. I don't hide them behind the paywall. I could do my regular channel reviews. So feel free to visit there. Um, check them out. If you like the content, maybe you buy five dollars and see the other shit ten dollars get to the private telegram chat are you good i'm good we're good thank you thank you kiwi ears you i can end today's i am fucking shit on a positive note that's all i ask for it's that i'm happy when i'm done